<laughs> we got a crowd. We have 26 people. Yeah. So now we've got a lot to talk about. And uh, so I want to start by telling you uh, how much I appreciate your participation in that last discussion where we we're talking about how we're going to design the course for ourselves. And so I've, I've got a fair amount of news for you to, um, uh, uh, to think about. And I'd like to get all of those kinds of things worked out tonight so that we can get started. Um, so I thought I would just start by sh uh, sh sharing a PowerPoint here. Let's see if I can come back to it. All right, let me kick this baby in gear. Mm -hmm. 
we're gonna. All right. So, what I am going to going to share with you are some uh, some results of, of the discussion that we had and some thinking and reflection, the reflection that I've done about the class. And one of the, one of the big things is the sheer number of the, of the class. This class is designed for about 12 people. And um, so I was uh, uh, pretty darn surprised to find out that we had 26 or 27 folks. So um, uh, we, we're, gonna, we're gonna do some, some kind of, of um, not rethinking exactly, but maybe, uh, refining a little bit might be the might be the best way to think about it but tonight i want to spend time on getting the class organized and right at the end start talking a little bit about uh about module number one so uh i've got a powerpoint that i'm gonna i'm gonna show we just saw the music um and so here's the agenda that i have uh, made for the evening for, um, I have done a qualitative analysis on the on the um, of the responses that you all sent into the discussion about what will be our procedures, and so I want to share that uh, qualitative analysis. It's a light qualitative analysis. It's not a, not a real formal one, but it is uh, <clears throat> um, a, a way for us to kind of sort through a lot of information and uh, come up maybe with some uh, some suggestion. And then after I show you the, these, uh, uh, this analysis that, that I've done, I've got a list of kind of proposed changes and adjustments to the class. And then at last, uh, we'll kind of uh, give you some words about how, you know, about starting in on module one. I know a lot of you have already started on module one, but um, there's, a, 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 there's some things that, that we should probably talk about before we get into it. So, um, before I get into this analysis, let me stop sharing for a second and see if you have if you guys have questions. I am I am recording this uh, session tonight. So, so what what are your what are your questions going in? Hello. I'll wait you out. You get just so you get to know what everybody else has said. About, uh, <laughs> Shelly, what are you saying? <laughs> Sir. What were you saying? I um I was you so say you were just asking us about questions. Um, I plan on meeting with my group tomorrow night to kind of mm -hmm. discuss our project, and I may be getting ahead of, of things or whatever. Um, but will we discuss more of the um, requirements for that project as we move forward with this tonight? We will. That's going to be one of the major changes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, anything else, Jody? Got any questions? Uh, no, not not right now. All right. I've been right. I've been reading the book, and you know okay. I'm trying to digest a lot of that information. It takes a little digestion, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> it does. I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of questions. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you will. Uh, Anna, I don't know if it was anybody else's ELC, but mine popped up as like an overdue assignment and it said like September 2nd, 2018. I don't know if anybody else has did that either, but no. that's the only question. Did well, oh, I, okay. I, 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 have, I have fixed that. I, I, um, I have ad admitted and I will continue to admit that I am clerically bankrupt. <laughs> Well, I'm just happy to see you're doing better because I took your class this summer. So I'm happy to see you're doing well and teaching still. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. That, uh, uh, are, you, are you thinking about that heart procedure? That uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That turned out great. I am fine. Good. Yeah, Good. No, no, no worries. So, um, yeah, but thanks, thanks for thinking about that. That's, uh, 
Okay, uh, Giovanna, I know you have questions. You've got questions all over the place, right? I'm sure I will after you start with um, the proposed changes and adjustments that you're planning on doing. And of course, the start of module one. So okay. right. I'll hold those. All right. Um, Shelby, how are you? I can hear rustling papers. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Um, I'm doing good. I'm going down the interstate right now. Um, which one? I'm doing good. I was running. I'm going down the interstate right now, so it took me a minute to turn on my mic, which you probably shouldn't be doing while I'm going down the interstate. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing good. Um, right. Like I mentioned earlier, probably I have some more questions. Why don't we talk about the revisions and changes for the course? Okay. So you want me to just jump into that? Sounds good to me. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna go back to sharing my uh, my PowerPoint. Hopefully, it's still still running. Okay, good. All right. So here here's what I did. I did a a light qualitative analysis of the of the discussion, and I used a five step procedure. And I'll show you what the procedure was. Step one was I went through all of your materials. I cut and pasted them all into one document. It was like 27 or 28 pages. And I, I read, read them through and highlighted things that I thought were important for us to, uh, to, to think about. And, um, and so I, that was the kind of the first step that I, that I read through. And I read through them very carefully. Um, that probably took most all of the day yesterday was to, was to get all of this assembled and, um, and to, um, uh, uh, and to uh, kind of, and then I had to go back and read through and highlight the highlight the pieces. So the the next step that I that I went to was I I did an analysis on all of the words that were used in the uh, document and looked at their frequency. Oops, I don't want you to see that yet. All right, and so I. Um, uh, uh, I trimmed the, I trimmed this list considerably. I, there was there were lots and lots and lots of pages of this, uh, but it, but I thought it was really interesting that the the most common word was learning, which I thought was really appropriate for the class. Uh, the next was about it was about Zoom, uh, and uh, and the other the other things that are uh, that were kind of popping up was the word was that different and I, I think a lot of you think of the this class as being different than some some of the others uh, the other kind of significant word that popped up was the issue of assignment so I knew that we were kind of on to some some kind of issues with regards to the assignment uh, appropriately uh, schooling and teaching came up uh, uh, things and discussion was it was a common word and uh, and then there was more of the, uh, there was a lot of talk about individual work. And, um, and then, uh, and then there was uh, a lot of talk about assignments. So I, so I knew that, uh, that assignment issue was, a, was an important one for you. I had, um, um, just to give you a little background on why I thought of trying to do those assignments as a group is because of 20, there's 27 of you. And um, <clears throat> my deal with uh, grading and assessment is, uh, is kind of a trade-off between giving a lot of, uh, using a lot of points and kinds of things that you think of as maybe, um, you know, high school or undergraduate kind of a, assessment strategy is trade-off the, uh, um, kind of kind of a points uh, system for one where you get very detailed feedback. And, uh, and I kept thinking, how in the world am I going to give detailed feedback to 27 uh, individual projects? So that's why I, that's why I grouped it. Um, 
but we're going to, we'll, you know, when we get done to done with this, we're going to have to rethink that a little bit. And so uh, I'll get to it. But I, I thought this was kind of an interesting analysis to go through and just see which words were the ones that, that, uh, that popped up and they're, they're, uh, uh, they're words that uh, I think many are germane to the, to the course and I'm not surprised to see them uh, popping up here. So that was, that was my second step in the analysis. And the, um, what was my third? Oh, I missed my, that was my third step. Let me go back. All right, so the next thing I did, I, I mislabeled this, I think. Um, I went through from, from, the, from the words and from the, uh, the highlighted information and I, I looked at the, uh, the things that I highlighted, and then I looked at their frequency. And uh, the one thing that came to the top of the, uh, uh, of the list was that you have a, a fairly strong preference for working independently, which, which, I, which I think is pretty interesting, given that um, this is a, a class about social learning, so um, we, we'll have to kind of we'll have to think about how we can accommodate your need for individual work, but still honor the purpose of the class, which is about learning from and with each other. So uh, that will that will turn out to be one of the one of the one of the findings and, and changes that we'll talk about. You frequently talked about Zoom. Many of you um, thought Zoom was important. Uh, there, there was a, a lot of conversation about collaborative work, though, which, which I thought, well, that's good. You're reading it, and you're kind of understanding the purpose of the course. Um, a lot of people said the, the discussions are important, and, and so I need to – that's one thing I need to clarify with you tonight is when you're talking about discussions, are you talking about – Written discussions, or are you talking about discussions that we can have on Zoom? So uh, th that's, that's a clarification that I need from you. Um, uh, there, a lot of people have uh, preferences, uh, preference for face-to-face -face learning. Uh, a number of people talked about um, schedule, uh, about deadlines, when, when are things due? And uh, I'll, I'll just tell you, I did a bad job of kind of getting dates on there, but I, I spent a good part of today putting uh, dates on things and due dates. So I think when you go back into ELC now, you'll see that uh, there's a lot of things that have dates. For example, the modules have a date uh, and uh, the modules are gonna be about three weeks long. And then we'll move as a group, we'll move to module two and then module three, module four and so forth. So uh, uh, again, a lot of discussion about individual assignments as opposed to groups. Um, uh, you guys seem to value thoughts and opinions and perspectives of other people. That, that came up uh, uh, a fair amount of time. Um, again, uh, several people talked about this, this course as being different. And I suspect that's true. This this is a, a different kind of course. My 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 approach to this is 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 usually pretty different. You, um, the course that some of you had with me last summer is a bit of an ex, uh, is a bit of an exception because I was pretty structured in that course, and I'm not always that structured. Uh, but with a course this size, I, I think I've kind of learned my lesson. I'm going to have to be a little, uh, have a little tighter um, uh, schedule here. Um, there was a preference for hands-on learning. Several people uh, talked about how that is important. Um, a preference for active learning. Uh, several people said they needed repetition. Um, uh, the, uh, again, there, this was a comment about structure. Uh, the importance of, uh, of groups came up, um, and uh, the issue of stress uh, came up, because uh, I, I know you guys have a lot on your plate. You have families, you have uh, work, you have activities. This is not the only class you're taking, and, uh, and we're not in the usual times here, so there's a, there's a lot of stress um, going on in, uh, 
in fact, I'm, I must say that I have a lot of stress uh, uh, right now in my life too. So, um, uh, and uh, another person said that it was important to have a say in the learning experiences, and that's important to me because I, I feel like in this kind of course, your voice is important in, in how we how we agree to do things. And so that's one of the reasons I, I want to take some time and really kind of talk about these, um, um, uh, the feedback that you, that you gave in the discussion. Uh, some, somebody talked about stories. I love stories. And uh, hopefully I use a lot of stories and things. So those were kind of the, the initial themes. And in qualitative terms, this is kind of a rough cut of, uh, of the things that, that came out. And then um, I went through another uh, phase of finding emergent uh, findings. And I, can't, I found about uh, five main categories of things that, and how that they were supported by other materials. And, and one was that there was, there was pretty strong support for redesigning the assignment, um, a strong support for individual work, um, uh, individual assignments, that, that's probably a duplicate. And, um, uh, and uh, again, I want to hear your voice on this. And so when we're done with this, I want you to, I want you to give me your thoughts too, so that I'm not just representing your thoughts from writing, but I don't want to think. So uh, I think another way that we might be able to reduce some stress is to, is to address this, this assignment issue. Now, uh, a lot of people talked about the importance of Zoom, um, and I, I think we can work that out. I have, a, I have a suggestion about how we might be able to work Zoom so that we're kind of beating the odds with not having to have 27 people all on at the same time. So uh, I have some suggestions about that, but the support for that were on the, was about the issues of tight schedules. Uh, people want to know about, um, how information can be delivered, uh, whether we whether they do that in video or on uh, in person on Zoom, we we have lots of options there, and and at the same time we keep the characteristics of a community through uh, this collective time together with Zoom. And um, then again, the issue of structure of class content and the schedule. Um, I, I I know a lot of people who are busy rely on having a having a schedule um, maybe uh, I don't want to go so far as to say I want to do a checklist kind of thing but I, I think that we've the way we've got the modules organized now and by times you can kind of manage your time but you can do the work through the modules at your at your own pace I think the other kind of thing I found interesting were the expressions of learning and, and preferences for learning um, a lot of people uh, talked about the importance of face-to-face -face learning. Me too. Um, I would certainly prefer to have face-to-face -face learning. Uh, a number of you are talking about hands-on learning, and that's that's perfectly fit with this uh, kind of uh, uh, approach to learning and teaching that we're talking about this semester. And it, and it is also a form of active learning. Um, Repetition will turn out to be an important part when we start talking about uh, um, issues of learning transfer and uh, repetition is important. Several people said they were visual learners. Several people said they like the informality. Uh, uh, and um, one that pleased me very much was, uh, was about creativity and I, I really value creativity. So those are, those were the findings that I that I found out of the uh, 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 out of the um, uh, analysis of your job. So I'm going to stop sharing before I sh show you the suggestions to see if you have questions about this. All right. So now those that was the kind of the and admittedly it was kind of a rough cut of a, of analysis. So. What, what kind of questions do you have? What, what does, does it seem consistent with uh, what you would have thought? Um, it's fine. 
fine with the idea of um, group work. Mm -hmm. um, it's mainly just scheduling concerns. Um, this is actually, this is my final semester. And this is the first time I've had a class that's required a group assignment so far. Um, mm -hmm. And also, frankly, this class and then another class I'm taking right now are the only classes I've had that are going to require pretty frequent um, Zoom meetings, mm -hmm. which I'm personally not against. Um, I know that a lot of people in the program are K-12, and I am working in um, the technical college system, so I'm working with adult learners. And it's interesting to me to get different perspectives on workforce education. Um, so Personally, like I said, I, I wasn't opposed to group assignments. I think it's mainly just having to work out scheduling conflicts because mm -hmm. we are all well, very busy right now. Exactly, and that, and, and that can, I, the last thing I want to do is induce a lot of stress with it. So um, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that in a, in a, in a minute. So um, I'm gonna start calling on people if you don't volunteer. Meredith, what are you thinking? <laughs> I knew you were fixing the call. You knew I was going to do it. Um, <laughs> um, no, I don't really have any questions. I'm kind of cool with whatever I can. Was there any? Was there anything? Yeah. Was there anything in that analysis that surprised you? That surprised me. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think so. Yeah. I mean, not really. Yeah. I think it sounded. I mean, I think it all sounded like a good course to me. A good course outline. Good course overview. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I think the content's real solid. I think it's how we deliver it is, uh, mm -hmm. given the you know given the limitations that we have. I think the the delivery is a, is an issue. Uh, Enid, what are you thinking? Um, I think uh, it sound your analysis sounds really good, and I think for me personally, I as I've written in the discussion, organization is a very big. Uh, thing for me. So I'm very flexible with whatever we do as long as um, I kind of have clear expectations of yeah. uh, what's expected of me and when stuff is due. I'm, I'm pretty, um, I'm like you, I'm, I'm, I'm flexible and probably too flexible sometimes. But when you get a group this big, with, with a group of 12, you can kind of do it. But, it, uh, you know, a group, a group this size, it's like, I don't know, we have to do, we have to, we have to do it a little differently. So, and Amy? What do you think, Jim? Um, <clears throat> well, I like the analysis and uh, especially that last slide when it was the keywords of um, how we learn. Um, I thought it was interesting of all of our perspectives. It sounds like a very healthy workforce education classroom. And, you know, right. whether you're high school level, technology, you know, um, college level, uh, it's, it's important as an instructor to remember those different um, types and just because I may only relate to a two or three or four. There's a wide variety of students in our classrooms and yeah. not everybody's yeah. gonna pick up things the same way. So I, it did look like a healthy workforce uh, education classroom. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I thought so too. I, I thought it was pretty vibrant uh, um, uh, way of thinking about it. Kenyatta, what, uh, what are you thinking? Uh, I think I really just need to find out what the expectations are. Okay. All right. And I may have to move my right. modem. Okay, that's fair. That's um, then I can see if it's going to fit in this group project, doing it as a group or individual, mm -hmm. or I just don't know what we're doing right now. Okay. So I then I can just yeah, I can but, figure out how to work it out. Yeah, I, I I think that's fair. Ms. Bass, what do you think of? Well, hi, everyone. Um, well, as far as the analysis goes, I was really surprised that everyone is like myself, like against like teamwork and more for like individualized work. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as your, your outline goes, I'm just excited about getting to work with my group and just learning more about the course expectations, I guess. Okay. All right. All right. Well, yeah, you want to say anything about this? I just want to say something real quick, if it's okay. Um, sure. With the analysis, I was, it did surprise me that everybody liked individual work, but I wondered their reasoning. Um, I like to collaborate with people just because it allows me 
-hmm. So see everybody's different perspectives and that's probably the reason in behind the discussion post. I love the discussion post because sometimes it opens my mind to things I didn't think about from the beginning. Um, mm -hmm. But just for an example, like last summer, not in your course, um, but another course, I think with group work, sometimes my schedule doesn't always coincide with my um, group members. And so for me, I like working in groups, but if I can, if my group members understand, I may can't always meet at a Zoom call at this time, or yeah. I can work on it during my planning period at work. Mm -hmm. um, so just knowing and having that trust saying, you know, like, I know you're waiting on me to do this portion. I'll do it, but this is the time frame I can do it in. Yeah. Um, I know that was a big deal. I had one group member that it was a group of three of us and um, two of us, couldn't work on it until later on. And so he took it upon himself to do the whole project. And it was like, you know, I didn't, I didn't feel comfortable with that because I didn't do any work and that's unlike me. So yeah. I think just creating a trustworthy group where we can collaborate. So I know I'm teaching online and in person yeah. and it is difficult. I have um, 80 something students online and when it comes to online work and having to grade it, I, I feel for you on that aspect. Me too. Well, um, okay. Well, let me let me show you some suggestions that that I have, and and these these are not in stone. Okay, this is this is up for conversation, and it's up to you guys to to help me uh, help me think through this uh, a little bit, and we and we'll try to do the uh, the thing that where we get the get the consensus uh, on. Okay. So I'm going to go back to, to sharing my screen. And here's our, our analysis here. So I'm going to step over here. These are um, some suggestions that I have about, uh, uh, about groups. I want to, I want to keep the groups, um, but I'm thinking in terms of letting them become more like study groups than uh, project groups. Um, uh, now that isn't to, it isn't to say that I don't want some groups who are already beginning to think about doing a group project to abandon it uh, because uh, a group project would be fine. So what, what I'm suggesting here really is is a compromise between if your group wants, if people want to do individual work in your group, I am okay with you doing that. Uh, but if as a group you want to do a collaborative group, I'm okay with you doing that. Uh, I would prefer, uh, my, my preference is that you would do the, the group assignment because it's, it's a better fit with the nature of the material. But it's, uh, I just think we have to think about logistics here and um, uh, I, I just, um, I just don't want to drive you crazy trying to, trying to get this done and, and um, so anyway, um, we can, we can talk about that in a minute. So um, I'm, I think I, I kind of talked about one and two there all, the, all together. And so I, what I'm thinking is that and I, have, I haven't done this yet. I wanted to talk to you before I did it. Uh, uh, I wanted to think about revising the individual semester long assignment to being an option of, of uh, uh, either individual or group. So that, that's, those are two suggestions, but I still want to keep the groups uh, uh, because they are, um, uh, this is complex material and it needs to have discussion. And I, I think if you have a study group and, I, and so that you can discuss this material among yourselves, I, I think that will add a richness to it that you wouldn't get just by listening to me. Does, mm -hmm. does, that, does that make sense? Yes. So, so I, I want to keep that aspect of it, but still give you a little bit more freedom on the assignment. The other, the other thing that um, I want to talk about are Zoom meetings and schedules. Um, what I had, what I'm, what I'm thinking of 
is that for the most part, over the semester, we might have maybe three of these sessions where everybody is on Zoom at the same time. And, and then what I, what I want to suggest to you is that a lot of people had support for every other, uh, every other week sessions. So what I'm, gonna, what I'm gonna propose to you all is that because we're in, we have six groups and they're not totally equal, and, and if we need to, we can move some, move some people around, is that I take group one, two, and three one week and then on a on Tuesday night and we have an individual session with 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 groups one two and three and then the next Tuesday night we have three four and five um, so that we kind of that we kind of break it up and then occasionally like tonight you know is a, is one of the sessions maybe somewhere around the middle of the semester we'll do another one of these large sessions and then um, go back to the every other uh, every other week and then at the end we'll do another big session maybe the, the fifth module probably would be a, a good place to do a, 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 a big session like this so um, that's one of the things I'm uh, that I want to propose and have a little bit of feedback from you on that tonight uh, the, the other thing uh, that's part of the Zoom and it's part of how we deliver the material, um, you'll notice when you when you look down through the uh, the modules, there are uh, a lot of PowerPoint presentations there, and when we have those um, sessions with the with the groups. Uh, I can talk you through with with kind of a, a Zoom lecture kind of thing over the material, or I can create a um, a video of of a lecture of the uh, of the material and and let it be presented that way, or we can do a combination of both those things. So I, I need to hear from you how you want to receive that, um, that, that technical information. And there, there are a lot of topics like that, that you know, multiple intelligences is, is one. Uh, there are uh, oh, the, the, the issue of, of reflection is, is another evening's discussion. Uh, there, there just are a number of those topics that we need to have some detailed discussion about. And we can either do that in person, or I can create a little video, and so that you can watch it whenever you want to watch it. So um, now the other, um, the the last thing I have are dates and modules and discussions and assignments. And I I spent my day putting on putting dates on things today. So uh, you'll notice when you go in and look at the at mod at the modules now they have. Uh, beginning dates and ending dates and they're not going to go away but we will work through module one for example from uh well the class started on august of, august the 20th but we'll work on module one until september the 26th and then we'll, and then we'll pick up module two on september the 27th and and have that uh material until October the 17th and the, these these dates are on the uh, are already on the uh, on the zoom or no, excuse me not on the zoom but on the uh, ELP sites uh, I have dates for um, uh, the proposal for your assignment and I also have um, dates for discussion and, and what I've tried to do is have like one major discussion for each module. So that way I'm not overloading you with writing, but I'm giving you plenty of time to work on your, uh, on your project, which you're going to need to kind of, kind of do with, um, um, you kind of need to get started on that uh, pretty soon. Um, it's, it's going to be long and an involved process. So um, 
those are those are things I am proposing. Um, so let me hear from you guys now. Dr. Show. Yeah. Um, of those things, the only thing I really felt a strong opinion on, um, and if ever if the entire class disagrees with me, that's okay. But um, much like somebody said earlier with our busy schedules, I think a recording would be more beneficial to me. Um, and I don't mean to say that I would be opposed to coming to meetings when I'm free and they're free, but the great thing about a recording is that we can revisit it anytime we want yeah. as we're working or as we're reading. I, I, I can do kind of a blend of both. You know, I and can, that might work as well. Maybe we can attend if we're available and if not, mm -hmm. we'll have access to it. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I, I kind of have a preference for you to be there if we're going to have the Zoom. But on the other hand, you know, the, the life is complicated. And so I'm a little, I'm, I'm flexible about it, but I have a minor preference for, uh, uh, for doing the Zoom. But I don't mind doing the, 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 the good thing about doing the videos is that I can use them the next semester. They don't have to, you know, I don't have, I don't have to reshoot them uh, unless you forget to change dates like I did on this one. Right. <laughs> Well, and like I said, that was just, I was just throwing out my preference, but I yeah. mean, I can make time and be flexible. Well, let's, find sure. what, let's find out what other people say about it. I, I would, I would agree. Um, and I can make time and be somewhat flexible, but, um, I mean, and I'm sure all of us, but that, there's a lot going on, mm -hmm. uh, for me mm -hmm. after school, uh, I coach, I have two little kids. So to have to be somewhere every week is a lot. Okay. What what do you what do you think of the every other week idea? Yeah. <laughs> Will it always be at the same time every other week at seven o'clock? They'd be at the time of your choosing. I I just I just want to have a um I want I want you guys. Seven is a good time for for me, and I uh, and I think it might be a good time for you because it gives you a chance to kind of come home and deal with dinner or whatever you're going to deal with, and then you've got seven to whenever. Um, but you know, I'm okay. I'm okay with doing it earlier too, because I, you know, I I I'm retired. I don't I don't have kids. I don't. You know, I I, I, I don't have the responsibility. You all have. I would definitely say that seven o'clock um, is a great time for me. And I do like the idea of having the sessions recorded. Um, I also really like the idea of having the, um, you know, three groups do a Zoom meeting every other um, week. As long as it is like a seven o'clock time where, you know. Okay with me. I'm in nine here. I'm a, I'm a night owl. I'll stay up till I, I never go to bed before midnight. Yeah, I also like the idea of having um, the smaller Zoom meetings with the individual groups, um, just because I think that makes it easier for discussion if you have less people. Because um, I do enjoy the Zoom meetings. Mm -hmm. I think it helps me talk things out. Um, I'm a talker. I have a lot of questions. I like to talk things out. Yeah. But um, like I said, if it's smaller groups, I think that's personally better for me. Um, and then every other week would also if we did it like that, that would work better too. Um, but that's just a little fun. Yeah. Amy Myers, you have a thought? I do. I was just fixing to speak up. You must have felt my vibe. <laughs> <laughs> I first, I want to thank you for allowing us to be this involved with creating the schedule. I mean, I know I don't speak for everybody, but I feel like, you know, we entered into this adventure getting our um, specialist or our masters or whatever we are all doing and we expected to be able to put some time in to do this and I know we all have busy schedules and all and I, would ju I just really like the every other week on the zoom and I really do want to kind of stick with the group thing because like right I'm like Rachel I'm a talker and I love collaborating with my um, colleagues 
with, you know, whoever I'm learning with. Yeah, you know, I just like to hear what other people are thinking and it helps me get a better picture of it in my brain too and understand other sides. I was explaining to my students just today in my classroom, no matter what your opinions are, we respect them. And what makes an intelligent person is you have your own opinion, but you're open-minded about others and why they think like that. Not that you've got to change your opinion or your beliefs or whatever, but you're open to what they are thinking and yeah. you understand why they believe the way they believe, even though it's opposite of you. I was so I really love the group thing. I don't want to get rid of that. Okay. And, and I, I, I have it set up tentatively so that we have areas for group work, you know, the, so that you can connect with the people who are on your, uh, on your work. And I, and, that list of emails that I had you all send in, I can make that available to people too, if you need to have uh, email contacts so that you can be in touch with your groups. Elizabeth Adair, what are you thinking? Hello, um, I'm flexible with whatever, so whatever, I'll make it work. Oh, you've got an opinion, I know you do. <laughs> After, I, heard, I, I spent a whole class listening to your opinions. <laughs> Sometimes I have them, but most of the time I'm, I'm just flexible, so. That's okay. I'll make it work. <laughs> I'm just pulling your chain a little bit. <laughs> um, if I may, I like the idea of recording um, of the presentations, the PowerPoints. That way I can play it back if I need to. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, we'll, do, yeah. we'll do that either way. It, I, I mentioned to some other people when we started because I, I have such a poor memory that you guys need to remind me to turn on the recorder <laughs> when we start a session. Will you, will you do that please? Because that you know I'll get, I'll get halfway into the session I'll say oh crap I forgot to turn on the recorder. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and that's that's just like me to do that. Giovanna, we have not heard a word from you tonight. Um, I really appreciate it if, if for real you do the, the, some lectures and you record those lectures that go with the PowerPoints because I was already looking over the PowerPoints and the material that you have put mm -hmm. and, and, and as long I, I know that we have to read the material in order to be able to understand what the PowerPoints are there, but I kind of want to know what is it that is extremely important for you, for, for you, for us to know. Um, so I really like that idea. And that's something that I personally do. It's one of the, the approaches that I do with my online classes that I teach my students. And as far as the project goes, I was, I already spoke to you. And uh, if you already know, I am the one <laughs> that wanted to do the, the project uh, individual. And, okay. and the, well, you can all blame her now, right? <laughs> <laughs> the reason, and the reason for that was because I have a very clear vision of what I want to do because it's extremely tied and relevant to what I do in my school. Um, and I basically want to show what is it that we do in my school that is tied to situated learning, that is tied to apprenticeship, that is tied to what uh, Jean Leib says in her, in her conference and in her book. So um, that's why I was so interested in doing it and I didn't want to impose that one project or that specific idea onto anybody. Um, if they didn't have the time or the, you know, the ability to meet or, or to actually do what is it that I was thinking. But if anybody wants to jump in and do it, I'm, you know, obviously I'm open to work with, with people because my class is all about social interaction. Um, and I'm already working with some of the, the teachers in my own school to make this project happen. So basically what I'm going to be doing is a, it's a documentary of my uh, performance-based uh, project that my students do every month. So basically we run a restaurant with my middle schoolers and the eighth graders are the bosses and they're the ones that manage and, and do all the, the main 
jobs in the restaurant and then the seven and the sixth graders are their apprentice and and they learn from them and then when they come to eighth grade then the the cycle continues so i have managed over the years to create this this spiral thing going so i'm eager to show it to create a documentary in order to show it to administrators to teachers to students so they're they want to go to school so administrators want to implement these projects in middle school not necessarily high school because there's a lot of that in high school at higher level, but I feel that the earlier we do it, the better and the more transferable it is over time. Um, so that's that's it. Yeah, I'm really excited about that project. We've we've talked a couple of times about it. I think it's so. I'm I'm gonna hear some, I'm gonna hear from some people who haven't talked very much. Uh, Dr. John and Dr. Shell. Okay, uh, just as she suggested, what if you are interested in her project? Uh, is it possible to join her? And and that probably will cause some of us to probably leave our individual initial groups. But my question will be, even if that caused us to leave our initial groups that you assigned, but if we still like like her project, is it possible to join her? Yeah, I, I wanna, I want to leave the groups in place, Melier, um, as a dis as a discussion group for you. But if you're, but we can break the assignment away from the group. Okay. If if, if that's what you want to do. Okay. All right. Now I want to hear from some some folks. Aaron, we haven't heard from you. Chinala, we haven't heard from you. Priscina, um, Amanda, I, I don't think we've heard from Amanda. So I need I need your voices on this thing. I I don't want to be just like this is what we're going to do. I need to. I, this is. Um, I'm sorry. I had put my response in the chat. Oh, <laughs> um, but oh. Oh. yes, sir, I did. Um, sure. I was just saying I I support the group um assignment or whatever. I don't have no issues with it as long as we're able to like compromise so mm -hmm. that we can get the job done. Because I'm sure we can like. Once we get one, we know who our group members are. We can make um, schedules or adjustments and meet accordingly. So it doesn't feel like one person is doing all the work, but we're e given an equal share. Yeah. And I'm for um, you doing the lectures recording. Um, like others have said, I would just like to meet every other week with the Zoom calls. Okay. Not right. weekly. <laughs> Due to my schedule, but I'm mm -hmm. all for the group project somewhat. I just want everyone to carry their own weight. So, that's our, a, yeah, it's an important point. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off here. No, you're, you're fine. <laughs> no, I just want everyone to carry their own weight. And that was my, basically my only concern. That's mm -hmm. why I prefer to work individually by myself. <laughs> but mm -hmm. I, can I, I know that I know that's an issue. Um, and if, if you do a, a group, you'll you'll notice um, in the in the next day or so, I'll publish a, a, a kind of a, a revised assignment kind of thing, and okay. it will, and it will have a, a rubric with it, and that that will be the rubric that, that I will use for assessment. But okay. it's it's also the rubric that I expect to use that you use for yourself as you create it. Um, and um, with regards to people, when there's a project, I will do an individual rubric for individual people in the project. So if you um, are the slacker, you're gonna, you're gonna see it. I have one more thought, Megan. <laughs> Um, so I, um, I've discussed with you, but I work in student affairs, so I'm not in a classroom every day. Um, I've taught a class before online, but primarily day to day, I'm working in student affairs. Um, however, I think this class is still very relevant to me because I work in technical college and it's something that I will deal with throughout my whole career. Sure. But um, it would be better for me if you have other people that are okay with group assignments to work with a group just because I am not in a classroom and it would be more difficult to come up with something obviously classroom based since I'm not in a classroom every day, but obviously I'm willing to do my part in terms of that. But um, it would just, I think, make more sense for me. If okay. We 
some of us could stick to group work. All right. Then Does that make sense? What, what I am going to propose to those who want to stay with the groups is that you get together and, and uh, talk amongst yourselves and decide what you, decide what you want to do. And uh, if we have to, I don't want to get into a massive swap of people around groups, but if we have to do that to get people to actually fill up enough to do a group, uh, you know, I, I, I guess we can do that. But I don't want to, I don't want to get too crazy about swapping the groups around because it, 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 uh, it confuses me. And when I, when I get confused, it's a problem. <laughs> Jody, what do you have on your mind? I haven't heard from you tonight much. I, I'm fine with everything that I've heard, really. I mean, I like the idea of some recorded uh, lectures and then the ever, every other week meetings. Uh, I'm happy working with a group like a couple of others. I don't have a classroom. I teach work-based learning. So my students go out into the field. Um, but I've been a classroom teacher for a number of years, so you know, I think I can work with a lot of different projects and I would like working with a group. That, that, um, that work-based learning thing is a perfect setup for this, for this class. It's just, it just couldn't be, it couldn't be better. Yes. Jody, this uh, is Paula and I'm also work-based learning. I just wanted you to know you had a comrade in here. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> That's always helpful. Yes. Uh, so hey, Dr. Shell, I just had a thought. Um, so I'm not in a classroom either. I, I obviously I work with 4-H. Um, but is there any way maybe that you could do a poll and like um, have people turn in whether they want to do a group assignment or whether they want to do individual? And that way you can kind of see who wants to do it and who doesn't. And then you can make new groups based on people who want to do group work, group work and then make groups just for meeting based on people who want to do individual work. That way they can still collaborate and get their thoughts out. Hmm. Is it against the law for me to shoot you? <laughs> no. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, is, um, yeah, I would, uh, I would say anything's possible. Um, Uh, I have I have to think about how to how to, how to do that. Um, I can volunteer to help you do that if you want me to set up like a Google form, and then you? it comes in it comes to a spreadsheet to you. Could you do that? Yeah. Oh, see, there's an A in the class already, right there. No, I know it's just I teach computer science and cybersecurity, so <laughs> that's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> Would that but be, we, if would you that, wanted to take that route, we could just, if you wanted, so that you're not getting confused about setting up the groups, we could set up a Google form, send out that link for everybody to complete. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe your top three interests and, or if you wanted to work individually and then you can set those groups and um, set our small group, our study groups up in who is uh, doing what. Sorry, I also printed the syllabus at the same time. I didn't know I was going to start talking. Well, what do y'all what do y'all think of that? Is that that sounds like a pretty good idea to me? I feel like maybe I'm maybe I'm getting overwhelmed. It might be because it I don't know. It's been a long day. I feel like I would be okay even if the poll just said like yes or no. Do you want to do group work? Like, I don't even know that I know enough about the class yet to be able to identify my interests, but I think maybe if we could just, he could have a list of all the people that want group work and then just those people could be plunked into groups. Yeah. Or something like that. What do you think of that, April? Hey, it's your class. You tell yeah. me. Since well, and I don't know if, if, if everybody <laughs> else has interests, then maybe I'm the one that just is no, kind. I no, I think maybe interest as far as like what what you're currently doing, like um, like for me, or if you're teaching, so like uh, the culinary thing or work um, work based learning or like that kind of not. I know exactly what I'm doing for the project because I'm not there either. No. Okay, okay, maybe I'm with you. Yes. Yeah. Well, here's here's what the confusion is because. 
then you have to establish another sequence of another group as far as uh, the weak alternation is concerned. So the question is, let's say you have a group of students that want to do their work individually, and then you have another group of students that want to do their group, their work in group. Does that mean that the, that new formation of group is what you will count on to do your weak alternation? Is that means that Dr. Shell, that's what now that new weak alternation have not to be based on that new group formation. Right, but I don't think we've established the weekly. Yeah. Well, well what I'm saying, it, it, it might get things, it is going to be practical in terms of knowing who's want to work in group and who wants to work individually. But then you got to solve another problem, which is scheduling group weekly alternation. Yeah. That's going to be another thing to well, solve. Um, I, I think the, the scheduling of the of the groups I think could be pretty easy because we'd just read we number them one, two, three, four, five, six. We do one through three one week, four, five, six the next week. However, people end up in the groups. So I so I think I think we could do that pretty uh, pretty quickly. April, can we uh, can we talk about this maybe outside of the uh, out, outside of the session, maybe sometime tomorrow or something like that, and get something going. Sure, I was doing it right now, but I'll wait. Oh no! <laughs> do it. Sorry, do it. I was. <laughs> do you have the emails? Do you have everybody's email? Yeah, that was my question. I, I know was just going to throw it in the chat. Can you? Are you going to collect it on the form, or do you want our emails now? I have it. I have it on a spreadsheet. Um, I was added late to a uh, group, so I don't know if mine, if you have mine. I think I do. Okay. I think I do, yeah. I started the class late, I should say. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the Google form can collect the everybody's email, too. Okay. All right. So, I, yeah. Sorry. That's all right. Go for it. Amy, what do you got? I was just going to say, maybe if we find out more and maybe it's just me if we find out more of what's required of this project mm -hmm. the group project mm -hmm. and talk that through that might help everybody decide because i know for me if it is really really involved i mean i prefer working independently i love learning from others mm -hmm. however if it is real involved i appreciate having a group to help complete pieces of it Okay. And to talk it through. Okay. So could we talk about the expectations of the project and what it entails? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's uh, um, trying to trying to think how much of it is up on ELC right now. Um, it's all marked through from what I'm looking at. Yeah, I marked out the um, the old one because I wanted to to rethink it. Let me. Uh, um, I tell you what. Let's do tomorrow. I um, well, I've got a couple of appointments tomorrow. By um, by the end of the week, I will have that rewritten and out to everybody. Uh, have the assignment out. I'll, I'll have it both posted and then I'll I'll just send it out on an announcement to everybody. Okay. And then April, you and I can come along behind that and let people choose. How does that sound? Yeah, that whatever that works for me. Okay, and then you can you can go ahead and and work on the system, and then um, and I'll I'll email you the spreadsheet I have of email addresses. It's not it's not complete, but it's pretty darn complete. I don't have everybody, but you know I ask I ask people to give me an email to earn ten thousand points. And uh, some people didn't take me up on the 10,000 points, two or three people. So, uh, Dr. Show, I have a question. Yes, um, I know you said we'd be put in different groups and we would meet every other week based on our groups. Is that correct? That's what we're talking about, yeah. Okay. Um, if there, for some reason, I could meet, um, like if I couldn't meet one week, but I could meet with the alternative group, is that an option? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Sure. Yeah, sure. Yes, sir. 
Yeah, we're we're always we, the link we use tonight is always the link we'll use every every week. So you can you can just kind of, you know, I I prefer if you, that you email and say, well, I can't this week, but I'll be on next week, just to kind of keep me in the loop. But I but sure, I, I think we can be flexible that way. Yes, sir. All righty, uh, Amanda, I want to hear from you. I saw I, you I'm back. sorry. I'm driving. I saw you in your car a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> we, we had a swim swim meeting tonight, so I was trying to do two things at once. But, yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really have enough information, I think, to really have a solid opinion on, okay. on what I think. Okay. Uh, but I guess I guess I can just make a better decision when I know a little bit more about, uh, like the other the other lady said about uh, how detailed the project is and yeah, you know how involved it is. Okay. Uh, it's, but it's, I mean, I can kind of go either way. All right. Okay. Cammy, we I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a thumbnail sketch of what's involved in the project, and then I'll give you a detailed one. Okay, that sounds good. Tammy, we haven't heard from you, so. And you, are you, there you are. You're still muting. I'm gonna unmute you. Well, let me do it. There you I go. did it, I think. Yeah, sorry, I was talking and not. Couldn't hear me. Anyway, um, I just I think I'm on the same page as everyone attention? else. Do I? Were you talking and not paying attention? No, I was talking and muted apparently. <laughs> so um, I, you know, I'm kind of on board with everyone else. I just don't know that I know enough about what the expectation is or, or what we're doing yet, um, and kind of what everyone else's expectation is. But I was um, also confessing that. I was one of the ones that said I like to work alone um, simply because I do know my time constraints. Um, not to say that I would not be a partner. So those of you that are now panicking um, <laughs> if I'm your partner, but I am a team player. I just, I am concerned that my schedule is going to work with everyone else's. Um, and then, um, and just. Well, that's why we have options here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I appreciate the options for sure. But but I was one of the ones that expressed concern. And I've just had poor experiences in the past as well. So um, being left with the, with the whole thing before as well. <laughs> yeah, that's not that's not the intention. I sure, I know. I know. I get it. Okay. Uh, well, let me tell you just a little bit about what I have in mind. And then I can, uh, I'll be a little more formal. What I, what I want you to do is take a piece of this material. Um, or pieces of the material and put together an activity for your students or whatever group you're talking about. It doesn't have to be students, but it could be the people you advise or it could be a number of, you know, a number of uh, environment and put together an activity, try it, test it, and tell me how it went. That's the that's the basic the basic pieces of it. You can talk about the project? Yeah. Yeah. The project. Yeah. And yeah. it is to be delivered at the end of it's just one time delivery at the end of the term. Yeah. The the delivery is at the end of the um um at the end of the semester and it will be due December twenty first. Okay. okay. So now I have questions. <laughs> okay. So does one teacher deliver it, and then we all like we all come up with a plan together, and one teacher deliver delivers it, or do we all deliver the same lesson, and then see the results? It could be. It could be any of the either of those things. Um, the uh, part of it, the way you structure it, it could be one person is in, is responsible for developing curriculum. One person would be responsible for uh, deciding on uh, and just and deciding and justifying uh, teaching methods, and one person might be decide might be responsible for actually delivering it, or you could decide that everybody's going to do all of that and everybody's going to teach it, 
and so that you get a get a bigger reach of people. But but how you do it is kind of up to you. What what I'm gonna what I'm gonna be looking for is that to use the course material to apply in a real world setting, and that you build a, an argument, an academically solid argument for the use of the material. Okay. Now, now you will you will find that I'm 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 uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on having solid scholarship behind this. We're not we're not just gonna make something up, but we're gonna we're gonna look at the material and say this part of the material and this part of the material make a really good connection, and so here's what the literature says about it, and this is why we should try it. And, and, and then you justify it and then go try it and then tell me how it worked. So is the delivery of it uh, just the report on how it went or are we actually yeah. showing the... Well, that depends on you. Uh, I'm going to ask you for an executive summary, which is probably something like about a 10 page report at the end. Uh, but the you know the how you do it is wide open you can create you can create a video and that could be part of the things that you submit as a product as a work product um you can uh you can write a scholarly paper if you wanted to as a group uh if somebody say like uh Miller, who's a who's a doctoral student needs a publication for his uh, requirements he could write a paper on this on uh, teaching economics and submit it to the Journal of uh, Economic Well-Being, and um, uh, and that would be a, that would be a project. Dr. Shell, is it possible along the way to kind of send you what we've done to see if we're on the right path or not? Yes, you are going to submit a proposal. Okay, a proposal. You're going to you're going to submit a proposal, and it will have you de uh, in a fairly detailed way say this is what I'm going to do and that's going to be September 20th um, September 22nd I think that's due the 20th um I have a question I was writing the proposal and um you are looking for obviously sources yeah um I and was going to ask you it says it, the specific professional literature uh that I was going to use mm -hmm. and um how is it that this literature will be analyzed uh, to be used. And I was going to ask you if the literature could be what you have provided us, sure. um, including the book and sure. the articles that you have given us and the chapters on your book and, and the other research that you posted on module one. Yeah. You know, there's a gold standard on that. The, the gold standard comes from the journals, the professional journals. Um, Books are, books are good, um, but the thing that you want to make sure is that it is, um, uh, that it's a referee document. Then you, do you all know what a, what a It's like a peer, is that a peer reviewed document? Peer, peer reviewed document, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, 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 the book chapters that, that I have written, that I've put in the material are peer reviewed. The, uh, but not all book chapters are. But that's even if they're if they're not, if you if if you can find the key pieces that are in that are in journals, or are written by the by the top scholars in the in the area. And I'm thinking of Lave and Winger and you know the, those kind of things. Those, those could be your top ones and then you could support it with some of the other materials but you don't want to you don't want to su submit something out of boy's life or you know the girl scout life or something like that you know or like you guys have you guys have written enough papers to to know that what what the professional literature is right let's see let's see Enid, what do you say here? The advanced search engine at UJ Online Library. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, so I feel like we have an emerging plan here. Do you guys, do you guys feel like we do? Let's do more thumbs up here. Okay. All right. All right. April, we'll talk tomorrow. Uh, my, pardon? No, that's fine. Okay. We, we can email back and forth. Okay. Rachel, are you okay? Ms. France, Amy, Meredith. All right. Kara, Aaron. All right. Are you guys worn out? I am. Well, the, uh, the project, if we're in groups or individual, will there be a different grading scale? Mm -hmm. Same. I'll use the same rubric. Individual or you know, um, part of what I will put together, and I've, I've already done it. I've already got the rubric for the class, but but you'll see the you'll see the rubric, and um, it, it's pretty straight. It's pretty straightforward. You won't uh, thanks. But here here's the here's the thing about grades in this class. Then I'll I'll do this as we as we sign off. My my big thing is not are not points. It's not about earning uh, uh, little credits for this, this, and that, and attendance, and you know that kind of thing. And we add up a number of points. And if you have ninety percent, you get an A, and all that kind of stuff. That's not how I do business. What I what I do business, the way I do business is that when you give me work, I give you academic feedback. I give you scholarly feedback. And if you do the work, you will get an A in the class. So it's not, uh, I, don't, I don't want you to spend a minute worrying about a grade for this class as long as you do the work. You, you put in the work, I'll honor it with a grade. Is that a deal? Dr. Shell, one question, if you don't mind. No, I don't mind. Okay. Now, first, uh, it feels like September 12th, uh, 20th is going to be here before we know it. And from what I understand, to include in our proposal, some of our theoretical foundations will be references that we will depart from. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I also, my understanding is that if you have some... If I, if I stop you, we, we, don't, yes. we don't need a lot of them right at the beginning. Right. But when you finish, you're going to need a fair. Okay. A fair amount of it. But to get okay. your proposal done, you're going to need two or three. Of the concept and theory that we will be going through. And, and yeah. where I'm getting that is, so let's say, for instance, you do have some of our literature uh, writings that does not necessarily cite specifically those concepts. And yet it is within the context of situated learning. Can we still use those writing, those sure. records? Sure, but make an argument. I'm sorry? Sure you can, but just make an argument for it. Make an argument for it. Okay, okay. A scholarly argument. Argument, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, wonderful. Okay. All right. Folks, I'm I'm worn out. I'm gonna um, is there any is anything else we need to talk about? Okay. You guys are great. All right, Michaela, hang around. All right, we appreciate you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.